Hey guys, it's Ninja here, and I wanted to show you guys a new strategy that I picked up about two or three months ago. I'd never seen a guide show me this before, so I figured maybe I should probably bring it out, because I've kept it to myself for a while, but I kind of thought, uh, it's probably not done by many shinobis, and I bet he'd probably go up on the tier list a little bit if more shinobis did this. So, so first thing I'm going to show you is the instant roll kick. Um, you're probably never going to hit anyone with that that's um, decent at the game. So the best thing for you to do is just to delay it. And how you delay it is pay attention to the moment your feet fully plant onto the ground. Once you've got it down to muscle memory, it's really obvious when said things happen. So now I'm going to show you the delayed version. So it looks like my character is about to stand up, right? It's like fully planted and he kicks them, right? That is the delayed version. You have to wait till your feet are fully planted on the ground for the delayed. You can do it a little bit earlier, so it's still going to be a little bit delayed, especially if someone tries to dodge. You'll still probably kind of catch them, but it really depends on the player you're fighting against and if they've seen what I'm talking about before. Now I'm going to show you a delayed sickle rain. Now, in your experience, and in any shinobi's experience, you're probably going to notice that you can never get a sickle rain off. That is because it's a very obvious move. It's very easy to see. The shinobi's immediate uh, heavy, its first heavy, is so obvious to predict because you're always swinging and jumping in the same direction every time. Um, the next thing is that you'll never get a sickle rain even on a guard brick because once you throw out a heavy that's it you have nothing confirmed up to that point so the best thing to do is to catch them off guard with a delayed attack if they dodge they're getting hit by the attack because when you do an early dodge an attack should still reach you most people don't do a back attack either but if it works the same way as um when a berserker does its uh, overhead and you dodge too early and I've had this experience today, so I can surely tell you that you will be chased down by that Berserker if you do an early dodge when he does his uh, overhead. Um, if it works exactly the same as that, you're going to catch them. All right. I've caught many um, players, that, and like at least I've put, done Dominion, I've done it in Breach. Um, haven't really played Duel because I can't really find people in there. But this strat works in many places if you delay it long enough and go for the attack it's a 50 50 well not 50 50 it's like a a quad choice of options that you could possibly go for you either got the your rolling light attack or rolling kick or your rolling heavy you can even go into a uh, sickle rain and faint in the middle of that sickle rain and go for a light a double light it all depends on you right so try to keep in mind all your options and what you can do from this delayed attack remember there's like multiple things that can happen when you do the roll and this isn't a single target it'll get you out of bad situations it's gonna get you in some bad situations it is what it is but potentially you could get a ledge you could potentially get a sickle range you'll never usually get so that's it for that so the safest way and most likely the only way you're ever really going to get that strategy on is if you do a double dash kick. The reason I say that is you're not going to throw a just a raw ranged attack because you're going to easily get parried and if you were trying to go for like a, a, a ranged guard break you're going to easily get anti guard break onto the ground. right? So the best possible way is to do a double dodge kick. No, there's no there's no other way for me to go about well hey this is how you go do another way to go into that. You literally have either the raw version or you have the double dodge kick. Now if you want to be risky you can whiff the ranged attack and roll in and get the sickle rain but that's actually less likely to happen for you than doing it with the uh, double dodge kick. Okay, so now you're going to see me showing examples of the move. Now, you're not going to be able to do it on a bot, especially if they're level 3 because they know what you're doing. But a regular player may not see what you're planning on doing. Like I said, I think like most of what you're going to see is like if you see a pro player doing this or uh, guarding this, they've seen something like this. 
It's probably up there in pro play, but I've never seen it anywhere else. So, so now I'm going to reiterate what I told you earlier, just to make sure you remember. So remember, you need to roll in, wait till your feet's almost fully planted on the ground, and then go for one of your four attacks. And you should, uh, you have a 50 to 50, 50, 50 or 33, 33, 33 chance of kicking or sickle raining somebody. Remember that you have two other options too, such as A, going for a um, light, or B, going for a uh, sickle rain faint and a guard break. You have multiple options and it all depends on you. And also, remember that you don't need to be far away for this to work. I just showed you that so that you knew how long it took for that animation to happen. Thanks for viewing my tech. If you want to see more stuff from me, remember to do everything on the screen and hit the bell icon to catch more of my videos. See you later.